Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Still Whiskey. I am Vince. I'm Devin. I'm Rich. And uh, today we are going to try some Whistle Pig 10 year single barrel rye. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get into it. All right, so as been said, we got Whistle Pig, single barrel rye, mm. 10 years. I haven't had this. 118 what? proof. What? No. It's so good. Oh, All right. You're in for a treat. Why don't you yeah. pour it off there, bud? <sighs> so for those of you that don't know, Whistle Pig is out of Vermont. Um, mm. You know, I've always seen it and thought that's expensive. And so that's it why I expensive. kind of stuck away and stayed away from it. Like, I think the six year is like 50 bucks. Uh, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Whew. But, you know, distilled out of Vermont. Um, it's a mix of MGP, so from Indiana, and look, some Canadian. Alberta. Alberta, Alberta Premium. Alberta. Mm, okay. I didn't know that. Right. Which, by the way, I have, and we should do that. Because you're Canadian. We should do. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's good. 118.9. Oh, it's apple juice. You know what? You know what I always think when I see Whistle Pick? I think to myself, I'm not going to buy that, but I hope someone else does. Yeah. That you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because I and like all, it so much, but I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a lot. And money. of all the whistle pigs, mm -hmm. boss hog. Like someday. 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 We'll get one of those, our rich friends, to come in and bring that in. If you have a boss hog yeah. and you know us and you like whiskey, we'll take a sample. I mean, or a whole bottle. We like whiskey too. Yeah, we're into it. You're not holding. You're not holding it in the in the in the way. I know. It's just very self conscious. What is the? Is this, this the, the hyperventilating <laughs> smell? <laughs> you know what? What it, do you get? What do you get? This reminds me of um, reaching in to my dad's. Uh, he used to have a can of roasted uh, nuts. You watch TV. He'd be kicked back in his lazy season, okay. and he'd have these roasted nuts. And they were like honey and sugar. And that's what this reminds me of. Like a when I smell it. Like a candied situation. Yeah, they were roasted. They were honey roasted oh, nuts. I believe okay. is what they were called. All right. They're All so right. good, so bad. Yeah, for, for me, I was like, I thought apples at first. I, like, some fruit, some light fruit, and maybe it's more like I hate apricots, but I think it might be like apricots or something like that. Like apricot? This, uh, it's not. So it's it's apricot. Not apricot. Apricot. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I I do get it's a little pecan bit of pecan or pecan. It's pecan. <laughs> Pecan. 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 <laughs> what? Who are you peeking at? All right. <laughs> that Canadian peeker. So, ignore them. They're judgy. I'm from uh, Ireland. If you were so right, then why didn't you win? Just an honest question. All right. All right, why don't you scoot over? All right. So, we're going to review Whistle Pig today. Oh my I'm God. I'm Devin. This is I get like this. A, Oh my gosh. I get like a honey drizzle. Honey drizzle, oh, maybe. a little bit of right, walnut. I get mint. I get a little bit of mint. Ooh. But again, the baking spices from the rye, right? It is so good. Okay. It is good. Mm -hmm. The mint comes through pretty strong on this. Stronger than I remember. Yeah. It's like an almost creaminess, mm. like a mint. Mm. Cream. At the very, at, the, cream. at the end? No, like right up front on the palate. I like it. At the end, it reminds me a little bit of, um, yeah, the finish for me is mint. It's like mint toothpaste. Yeah, so like maybe, after I maybe, brush my teeth. Yeah. It's a, it is like, not in a bad way, the mint toothpaste, but like, it's just like that kind of like lingering mm -hmm. feel you get yep. after you brush your teeth. Yep. So it's a good after brush your teeth. Yes. Yeah. Don't brush your teeth, yeah. drink whistle pig yeah. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Not I, was, I was gonna say brush your teeth. Got it. <laughs> and then be like, I might want one more pour. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that flavor also goes the same for that. <laughs> yeah, I might. But this one does taste of mint. So you know how you put water on your to what? on your toothpaste. You can yeah. just pour whiskey on it. That's and a good then idea. wet that. And I mean what that's proof what is you this? should try. Like and comment below uh, with what, what that's this? like. Yes. 118.9. Yeah, I would love to know if you've had this, tell us if we're way off because this is no, it doesn't drink that hot. I don't think it does not um, drink no. that hot. I'm surprised. But the, the, it's the, what is the it, mint comes through. 118. 118. The almost like a candied <laughs> walnut comes through. Um, there's like a creaminess. It's a little bit syrupy, like viscosity-wise. I've not had a lot of 
or whiskeys like this in a long time. Yeah. It's uh, good. It's really good. I know. But yeah, no, the candied walnuts, it really makes, because if you think of candied walnuts, like you get that sugariness, but the walnut flavor, the yes. nutty, like, yeah. Completely. Like, yeah. Very nutty. Completely Comes agree. And so. But again, it's not overbearing. I think mm -hmm. this is really, really good. I think it's not as complex as I remember. Yeah. Um, it's an easy drinker. But we haven't talked about the price. Like that's the tough part. When I'm thinking about like this mm. as easy drinking, like hundred and ten dollars. Ouch. MSRP hundred and ten. Which I think like that's gonna be pretty much everywhere. Like that's I don't think Whistle Pig has got like a huge like Boss Hog I think goes up, but like for these it's Yeah. Grade it. Perfect. Give us a grade at hundred and ten dollars. I like this. I it's think this C is very crushable for me. All right. I don't know, we didn't say if pluses and minuses that's were acceptable, fine. but that's I'm fine. doing it. No, so. that's fine. I think it, it bumps it above. I think if we think back to our previous episode, if you haven't seen it, Batch Proof from Woodward, Woodford Reserve, mm. like that one was $40 more than this, mm -hmm. but did I like that one more, much, so much more? Uh, but you're kind of comparing apples and orangutans. This is a ride. It doesn't matter if it's going to be that. And it's high such price. a different mash bill. It, it is totally such a different drink. But I just, I just have the to like the flavor other one and the thing I like is going to adjust the grade. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm taking in. I know what I've had higher, higher cost things, things like that. Uh, for me, I'm going to say B minus. Like it is, it is, is a good flavor. It's mm -hmm. a good rye. Like especially for rye, I think that's the big thing. It's like yeah. You know, it's definitely not the Jack Daniels rye. Another episode you should go watch. Yep. But such a good drink. Yeah, I, go I B, would B give minus. this a B, and I give it a B. I think this could be A if it was seventy bucks hmm. for one hundred and ten dollars. I think it's a B, and 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 don't mistake that for me saying this is a bad whiskey. It also looks great, which I, as we've hmm. discussed, yeah. I'm a big mm -hmm. fan of. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a B because of the price. Yep. But it's a great pour. You're not going to be mad that you have it, right? Um, but it's just not going to reach into A territory at one hundred and ten dollars. Yep. It's not as complex as I remember. Yep. Um, and it's possible that I'm remembering a slightly different whistle pick because they have a lot of options. Um, but for me, it's still a buy. Yeah. I'm not going to keep buying mm -hmm. over and no. over, but yeah. it's a buy for me. I mean, I own the bottle. I just... At one hundred and ten, oh, now that I've had it, um, I wouldn't buy it. If I didn't have it and I wanted to try it out. Because you know me, I'm into collecting. Yeah. I probably might try it, but like, I've, uh, that's been the thing with Whistlepig. I've always shied away because of the price tag. Right. Yeah. And right. so now that I've tried it, maybe I'm, I'm definitely more open to trying some of these more of these bottles and paying the price to try it and see. I like the just the regular 10 year bottle. Yeah. It's like yeah. 80 or 90 dollars. I like that one better for me to buy. Yeah. For me to buy. Anyways. You know, tell us what you think in the yeah. comments. Let us know, like, have you had this? Do you like it? Do you yeah. think there's a better whistle pig that we should try? Like, let us know in the comments. We want, we're always looking for your opinions, what you think, what we should try, what you want to see. So at the end of the day, this is still whiskey. Still yeah. whiskey. Still whiskey. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. See ya.